So interesting intersection of uh, art and the real world this week. Uh, I was listening to and watching this program on BBC called BBC Culture, and they're talking about the new production by the Royal Ballet, Metamorphosis. It's particularly the part uh, of Diana and Acteon. And you remember the story, Diana and Acteon? Diana's a goddess, and she's having a bath with a few of her friends, and this Acteon creep is essentially a peeping Tom. He's hiding in the bushes uh, watching. And of course, they're all naked because they're taking a bath. And they discover him, and she, Diana is so pissed off that she turns him into a stag, whereupon Acteon's own hunting dogs rip him apart. <clears throat> now, this seems to me to be kind of a warranted comeuppance and kind of interestingly resonant on several levels. But anyway, so that's the story, and it's going to be part of this Royal Ballet production. And they're interviewing the guy who's painting the set drops, and he's some hotshot British painter named Chris of Philly, and he's like up and coming and hot and da-da-da. And from what I could see, he looks like a pretty good painter, but he sure doesn't know much about art, and he's not too perceptive about women either, because he doesn't know anything about this story, but he said he got a friend to tell him. He said he wasn't really up on the classics. Mm, so he had a friend tell him the story so he could get the gig, you know, and do the painting. And uh, that's fine, and that's what he did. But his comment on the story was, um, <clears throat> I think he just thought that her whole response was a bit over the top, because, uh, come on, it's not that big a deal. Now, to me, this indicates that this guy has absolutely no empathy or consciousness about um, the, the threat of the lascivious male gaze, particularly when it's um, clandestine and it comes at you in a peeping Tom kind of way that probably isn't, well, it's pretty fairly creepy to most women and certainly threatening, and it's um, one step that leads into a very bad set of um, circumstances. So there you go, uh, two points of view on that. So, interestingly enough, the same week that this is on BBC, there's this explosion over these pictures of the Duchess of Cambridge, which you've probably heard about, as some creepy para, para... what's the word? Parazzi. Oh, I can't think I'm sick. But anyways, this some, some creepy cameraman shot her with a long-distance lens uh, as she was lying on a private patio in some secluded rural chateau in France getting a couple of days rest before she and her husband took off in this big tour of the Middle East and the East, which they are now on as this the whole thing blows up. And these nude pictures of her are being published already in uh, Ireland and France first, then Ireland, and now apparently this week they're going to come out in Italy. And I just can't imagine how horribly violated she must feel about this. And, uh, and they are said to be furious. Furious. That's an interesting word, isn't it, in this context? Because, of course, furious comes from fury, another mythologically powerful female figure. The furies were these kind of banshees that could run around wrecking havoc in revenge for things that were done wrong, particularly by men people uh, rip, ripping guys apart for this, that, and the other thing. So we got a whole lot of wishful thinking going on with the female myth figures. But let's take a look at the reality here both on the level of the, this guy who's uh, got the gig to paint the flats for, uh, for the ballet who just doesn't see how you know, it's that big a deal that somebody's lying in the bushes watching women having a bath. And, uh, and now this, this um, Duchess of Cambridge, who you know maybe it's not that much of a big deal either because clearly she doesn't have the power to prevent anybody from doing that, even though she's a, um, a princess or whatever. And as did, uh, of course, her, brings to mind her mother-in-law, Diana, who was pursued by these um, camera creeps and to her death. And now this girl, I mean, she's married to the prince. I don't know why anybody would want to, but anyway, you gotta, you got to sympathize with her, the cross she has to bear. I hate to use that Christian bus, say she's carrying a burden not all of us would be that keen on. Um, but, and there's nothing she can do now about her body having been the image having been stolen from her 
commodified, put out there for, for private profit and the gratification of a bunch of lascivious creeps all over the world. And I think that this is completely disgusting, but it's, the real tragedy is that there's no consciousness whatsoever about what a violation this is of us.